Hello there everybody, this is Good Guy Palps, and welcome to Let's Play Civ 6 as Portugal. We have quite a few mods enabled here. We're playing on Deity, we're playing with extended arrows, not quite historic speed, which I've done before. Uh, it should go a little faster, which is great. Um, and we're playing with various new game modes, Barbarians, Heroes, Monopoly, Secret Societies, and Zombie Defense. And we also have several mods in the game, uh, which I will list in the description, but we have new resources such as Ox and Medicinal Herbs. We are playing on a giant earth map with true start location. So that's going to be really interesting. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Luckily, we're going to have some really, really nice... And it's abundant resources. We have a lots and lots of abundant resources around here. We're going to have some epic cities, some great harbors. Let's go ahead and explore by moving our warrior back. There is a tribal village. We're going to want to go claim that. I think we actually settle... Hmm, if we settle here, we're on the coast, which is great. I think is what we want. And we could, there is, a, I mean, actually, these are the only two floodplain tiles, so we're going to want an industrial zone there, or at least a dam, and maybe an aqueduct and an industrial zone, like, over here or something. Yeah, so I think we have to settle in place here. Because there's some air score, boosts sailing, and there is Lisbon. Now, with DD on extended areas, we're going to be oh, it's even a little further behind the normal. Obviously, this takes longer to do all these researches. Let's make sure we're working the right tile. Yeah, we are working this. We have Pseudocrax UI improvements on, so we can just see what we're working by hovering over the city, which is great. This would be a really fun wonder to go for, but I just don't see that happening in this game. What we are going to want to work on is probably Ox. We're going to need Animal Husbandry. We'll need Mining for Lead. Animal Husbandry there. So, Sailing's tempting. But it doesn't really send us anywhere great besides we probably would want to get harbors and campuses this game. So let's grab um, let's grab animal husbandry first. And then let's go for a scout. So far, Portugal looks way bigger than I thought it was going to be on this map. I wasn't quite sure how, how big to expect it. We'll go move north here with this warrior at least to come see if anything is up here. We might want a scout to grab that for the XP. Make it a lot more. Let's make sure no one else can claim it, though. This must be the top here of Portugal. And there are already barbarian zombies. Wow, look at those guys. Yikes. Major defeat. Well, we don't want to be defeated. There is oak. Oh, that's cool. Like a new kind of lumber. Oh, and they're fighting... Look at that. All right, so they're... Oh, I thought we'd be able to see them, but they're fighting, looks like, France. So we're definitely going to want to claim up as much of this Portugal-Spain territory. All right, now if we take this elimination... Oh, well, we just did eliminate them, which is great. Let's also come up here and block them. France and England. Uh, it's an honor. We'd love to sample their hospitality. There is Paris. Awfully close. We're definitely going to want a city up here to kind of close this off. In fact, if we look at our settler view right now, we could do one here, and then one, two, three, four, one right there. Very defensible. Um, and then theoretically, we'd be able to cram one in. One, two, three. Dang. We're definitely going to want one here on the coast. We're going to want to try and fit one in the middle. We're going to have to pin these out as we explore a bit more. We might be able to get by with just one scout here. Let's go next turn. I'm going to send the scout over here to grab the tribal village, which will give us a little bit of XP. There are barbarians. We just got a trade route capacity. Interesting. Now that we've built that, what do we want to work on? Well, we'd love to improve the ox in about seven turns, and we'd like to improve the fish. We can even make the pasture here. Interesting. Now, there's not going to be any phenomenal places for campuses here, but we still do want to go for uh, science. Granted, if we build cities over here, there should be some mountains here and probably more over here near Italy. We could go for troops. And two turns will grow and we'll be able to get another a settler out, which we definitely are going to want to do. Now, if we, if we did settle right here, we do suffer from the problem of we lose this cool medicine, medicinal herbs resource, which does give us science. 
We might want to settle here. But if we did that, we pretty much have to settle way up here near Paris. We're probably going to put our first city down here. Let's grab a slinger, or go towards a slinger at least, for a couple turns, and then probably start getting a, uh, a settler out. Let's heal up this warrior a couple turns. Oh, wow. That was lucky. We'll take the free recon unit that we didn't even start producing. Now let's start grabbing our settler. 14 turns is pretty long. Yeah, we're definitely gonna wanna put a city over here, for sure. Oh, nice. Let's go claim that. Yeah, so take a look at this. We're probably gonna want to put a sea. I'm thinking on this hill. That way we keep the wheat. We'll see what's over here, but I'm pretty sure this is the uh, the end there. Oh, a free builder. These are great. Now we almost have animal husbandry, so there's not a ton we can do other than build farms. So let's let's come here. We'll wait next turn and then improve the ox. I'm tempted to fight these guys, but I kind of want to wait till we have a little bit. Uh, they're just very well fortified in that. So Owls Minerva and a hero discovered. Now that is a good point that we are playing with secret societies. With Lisbon and with our trade routes, I think we do want to go with the Owls Minerva. Um, unlocked by sending an envoy to city state, plus one economic policy slot. Each trade route sent to a city state awards one envoy there. Owls Minerva focused significantly on trade. Because you have vampires, right? And then you have the, uh, the uh, ley lines, which would be pretty good for our campuses. And then you have the, uh, the faith one. So yeah, these are what we want, Owls Minerva. So let's go ahead and point them. That's great. Now we do get uh, plus an economic policy slot, which we won't really feel that until we get our code of laws done. And then each trade route sent to a city state awards one envoy, which is nice. If there are no dogs in heaven, there's animal husbandry. Let's definitely improve the ox here. It's going to make this a two-two tile. If we spend the gold, we can also improve the pasture, giving us a 3-1, which would be pretty solid. This would still be a good tile to work if we could get sailing, which I'm tempted to actually grab next. Now, rioting would be good, because then we get those campuses down. But sailing is necessary to get harbors. We are going to want mining, too. We have a lot of things we're going to want. Let's spend the gold, though to grab that so that we can improve that pasture next turn. So there is Africa, essentially. We want to be pretty much cram as many cities on our little home area as much as possible. Now, if we put one here, it'd be nice to get to North Africa right there. Build on the coast. Like right there would be a great city. Now, if we did that one, two, three, four, we could settle on this hill. We might want to settle on flat land though. Even though we lose the wheat, like we'll get more mines. Now, if we, of course, if we do that, right, if we settle here, right, we go one, two, three, we could still settle right here either way. But if we settle here, then we could settle one, two, three, four ish, right around here. But we couldn't settle this spot. So it'd almost be worth settling like right here, a little closer to the dim mountains, and then put one up here on the coast. It's kind of what I'm leaning towards. We'll pin the rest of these out as we continue to explore. It's nice that we have a little space here because in this mode on Deity, they yeah, have a massive bonus, more than normal, right? 40 gold, nice. Seven turns till we complete Code of Laws. Pretty much just making sure they don't come over this way.
I definitely want to claim up as much as Mediterranean. Now, most of the sieves were random, but I, I selected a few just to make sure there was some on pretty much every continent. So I know there's a couple in the Americas, right? Um, but in general, I don't know the sieves that are going to be in the game. And with one charge left, let's go boost. I'd love to grab these, but I don't want to wait 15 turns, especially because we can boost, boost craftsmanship. So let's go, let's go build a farm. Let's put that farm right there on the plains, floodplain. Interesting, so there are some sweet mountains here. We probably are gonna wanna settle along that river for sure. Hmm, now if we settle here and here, we could go pretty central and just kinda have, a, have to build an aqueduct somewhere. That's tempting. If we, build, if we want to still build a city here, right? be one, two, three, four-ish. That would have to be here. One, two, three, four. But if we build here, it'd be one, two, three, four. Not bad. We could do that. If we did this, we'd have to build an aqueduct there, I think. Now, instead of doing that, we could just build this city just on the coastline right here on one of these spots and then plan on building like an encampment here. We still would have to settle this one where it's at though, but that way we could avoid putting another city there, which just isn't going to have much growth. I think we settle on the stone and plan on putting an encampment right there. And if we do that, that should give each of these cities enough room to be able to grow pretty well. And then we put in another city, one, two, three, four, somewhere in here. I'm gonna say there, because we kind of want to go a little taller in this mode. We, our cities are gonna have plenty of time to grow. All right, so hopefully we get help from from France coming in here would be nice. Do I want that or the triple food? I want a 2 1 or a 3. I think I want the 2 1. That boosts craftsmanship, which is perfect. And they ran away, of course. And they're attacking our scout. Classic. They did take damage, and in four turns, we'll be able to. Let's attack once. Let's retreat with our scout. And then move this scout here to bait them to attack. We now we know we will survive the double hit. Beautiful. Need to heal up our warrior a turn or two. This scout didn't he didn't get promoted. How much damage did he take? 78. 73. It's a little risky. I could heal up this scout while I send this one to go explore and hopefully get some promotions. Now we're kind of stuck in here, so we definitely need to settle this early. And we could get some of these early ones out. And we'd struggle with some loyalty and growth though, so we still probably will settle this one first, but then after that, we kind of need to get a city here quickly. In fact, maybe we will just have to settle that first. We have to put a, a governor there. Oh, we'll clear that out. Where did that warrior go? We must have attacked our warrior. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, we're gonna go, we don't want a city state here, so we're gonna step into that so we can clear it out. Uh, we're just gonna stay on this hill and heal one turn. France looks like they're building the Great Bath. Good for them. Uh, let's not raid, let's disperse. Take the promotion. Some good tiles up here, so I, th I think we do want to settle this first. That is best. Man is now we're going to take both of these. And, ooh, actually, we just... Hold on. Do we just see another encampment somewhere? No. That's my imagination. Okay, so let's... 
claim both of these, which is great. And then we're going to take this survey. And because of that, let's just move our scout forward to start scouting where they get the most XP. Let's take that. In. Wow, look at that. What is that? Sugar maple. Ooh, I want that. I love maple. Huge fan of maple syrup, by the way. If you didn't know that about me. Massive fan. Literally just had pancakes with maple syrup. It's great. Let's bring this settler yeah, up to there first. That way we kind of work all of this. Yeah, yeah, I think that's I think that's the best. We might not be able to work this fish, but that's not a huge deal. We won't have to chop that away. Yeah, I think that's good. Now with that, we boosted craftsmanship and foreign trade. Do we want to go to where we can uh, reduce the cost of, or we can boost pr uh, production towards settlers? Or do you want to go to build the government plaza and then push out settlers? Now, we're not going to build that many settlers yet. We don't know, right? We might eventually colonize stuff, but first we're just going to need to fill up our territory. So I think we rush foreign trade to go towards open... Uh, what, what was that called? Early empire, that's right. Having completed the settler, we want more builders. Just because we're going to get sailing soon. We'd love a monument. We'd love a slinger. I think we need to get this slinger just because France isn't necessarily friendly right now. Now, we'd love to be friendly. We're going to send them a delegation. We have nothing to trade. We could give them a gift um, of gold. Right now, we're at negative six unknown regions, probably just because they met us. Right, if we gave them... Man, I don't know. I don't really want to give them gold. We might need that gold. Now, how much does it cost for... This thing is 140. Because we'd love a builder and a monument here, but we have to have some defenses or we're going to get just wiped out, and I'd rather not embarrassingly just get eliminated on turn 40. So, let's continue to move that settler forward. Uh, let's put this... Yeah, we're here somewhere a bit, a bit central. We can see anyone coming in. Let's cross. Bring the scout forward. Hit next turn. By the way, I love the music for Portugal. Uh, pine. Interesting. Aren't all of these pines? They look like they're all pines. Minus three, yeah, that's very manageable. Very manageable. Alright, so there are... Now, we did have a, a bit of an issue where we can't really discover it. Now, we do kind of want to get to the point where we can get some ships out. In fact, we might want a galley soon, because then we can get into the Mediterranean. We might really want to buy, save our gold and buy a galley. Two of them would help boost shipbuilding as well, so we kind of want two galleys. Paris, too bad it's not coastal. Now, okay, minus seven, and all of a sudden a bit more crazy and harder to manage. We could audible and come settle this first. It's not going to grow quickly. It would give us access to this soon. We could instead settle here. Everything else would stay the same. Now we need, we're going to have a city here though. Maybe we could even go one, two, three, four on the coast. If we did that though, it would be one, two, three. We'd have to put a city right up there still, right? We could just audible and settle here with the same intention of putting up cities over here. But I, I mean, we want coastal cities. What's our main bonuses, right? All units receive plus one site, plus one trade capacity when a, civilization, when a civilization is met. Oh yeah, we knew that. Open borders with all city states. International trade routes can only reach cities on the coast or with a harbor, but cities but receive 50% towards all yields. Trader units have plus 50% range over water and can embark as soon as they are unlocked. So we definitely want to get a trade route soon, though we, don't, we haven't really met anyone we can trade with. We can build them now, the navigation school, which we definitely want to hit all of this. Yeah, this isn't on the heart, on the sea there. We could trade with Vatican City, which is nice. But now we really need to decide what we want to do. If we want to settle in the same place, we could settle up over here instead. If we settle here, we at least can get the harbor here. We would never get to the salmon. We would be able to build an encampment though. 
If we did that though, we if we settle here, then we can't settle here. We'd have to settle over here on the coast. We'd have to settle here if we still want this North African city. And if we settle uh, here, then we need to settle way up here. Also not on the river. How long till we get our next governor tile? It's gonna be a while. I think we have to audible and come settle here first. Our housing is going to be pretty atrocious. But it will help us at least kind of lock down this whole area. And maintain a loyalty there. Get our next settler there, which will probably pump out right after the slinger. We're going to lock down this pass, I think, with that warrior. Now... Plus site, yeah, that's really nice. Um, let's make sure this is still what we want. If we can get this city down, I think this is what we want, though. Yeah. Alternatively, maybe this is a little better. Maybe. Granted, then you'd have... Uh... Either way, right? It's pretty similar. You'd be wouldn't be able you wouldn't have to settle on the woods and remove them by settling here, and you would work the three two immediately, which is pretty solid. But if we settle here, also we can't one two three. Yeah, that's too close. We have to settle here one two three four. Yeah. Let's go see what France is up to. I want to get as far away as possible to discover as much as possible. There should be a wonder, I would think. That's Vatican City. That's getting into Italy. Ooh, Hungary. Oh, good. I hope you fight your uh, your neighbors up here. Now that we got the slinger, send them out and immediately start working on another settler, I think. Alternatively, man, that monument is tempting. As is a builder. Granted, a builder's not a ton because we can't really, we just can't get enough population. Right? We're growing pretty quickly, but um, let's get. We wouldn't be able to improve this and this, which would be pretty good tiles. This one would be solid. I don't really know what muscles will do. Builder's gonna take six turns though. Versus we could take thirteen, a little less because we'll grow and get that next settler out and hopefully be able to settle up here. And if we get the monument, we can get that card sooner in early empire. It'll almost double, more than double, really, our culture. So much to do. I think you get another settler here and then have this city put out, put it like a monument in. I wonder if England's going to be in the game. Because that would be a city we probably would want to be allies with. To love co a city, a, uh, a nation. We also want to look, scout as much for looking for cities on on the coast. Under the white Beautiful cliffs. cliffs of Dover. Alright, so we can definitely trade with these cities, which is great. Oh, that's barley. I like that the icon for it's beer. <laughs> Not like a grain, you know. This scout's undoubtedly going to come this way, so let's bring this scout this direction. I was hoping that would level up this scout, but didn't quite. Someone built Stonehenge. Now, slow to growth, and next turn, next thing we got to go for is pottery, so we can build a granary here. The first thing we're going to build is a monument. I'm going to put that slinger up there. So Rome is, must not be in the game. She is still not friendly, but she has no units going towards us yet. Alright, so now we can embark. We also love a trade route. In fact, maybe we should grab that. 
We unlocked it. Oh, we have to still get foreign trade to build them. Okay. Um, again, we'd still love that builder, but first, what's even better is the galley. We need 260. Once we get here, we'll probably build builders. Uh, let's... Still nothing to trade. We can't even trade open borders yet. Luckily, they've denounced them, though. Let's take a look at pottery so we can get a granary somewhere. Let's also grab this. I'll tell you what, a free settler right now would have been epic. However, I think we're going to want to take production toward on fishing boats. We're going to get production right here a ton, and in all of these coastal cities, we're going to have a decent amount of extra production. Floodplains, we don't really have like any where we're at. Pastures, we do have some pastures. We would get some culture out of that right away. That would be a decent one to grab, though. It really only helps the capital. Uh, mines over luxury and bonus resources. We'll have a little bit of that. Right, that's a bonus. Mining. Yeah, let's take the fishing boats, God of the Sea. I think that makes the most sense. Let's heal up while we're stuck there. And Geneva has a massive military. Don't flood and kill my scout, please. Oh, I should have doubled. Oops. Moved there, but... Said we'll just go up this coastline. Luckily, France hasn't built any other cities besides their free three settlers, so that's nice. And they seem a little distracted. They might even... They've been denounced by them, so... Nothing good. Can't send delegations because they're all unfriendly. And we kind of want to save our gold up till 260 anyways to get that ship. That ship will give us a lot of bonuses as we explore. We'll go right to the Mediterranean, I think, and then down the coast of Africa. And it depends how far the scout gets. Maybe we'll just go right down the coast of Africa by the time we get that ship. Eight turns to build. 240. And we are at two seven or one seventy, so yeah, seventy to go. It's not bad. Ten turns essentially, we'll be able to buy it. Some nice little things. What is that? Algae. Yeah, obviously there's a mod for tons of new resources. By the way, if you didn't recognize, okay, so we. All right, so they don't like that we have neighboring to do with low population. Well. Yeah, we are working on... Gr yeah, that's by far the best thing to get. Actually, it's even better. Well, the gold's good, because then we get our galley sooner. All right, so we have to watch out for this. Do you want to go down the coast of Italy or straight over towards Greece? I think we're going to want to settle Italy, and we can... Beautiful. There's the Ottomans. Interesting. And we've already locked in a normal age. We might even be able to nail a, uh, a golden age. Ooh, what's that resource? Cherry trees. Why are they white? <laughs> I've, I've seen a lot of cherry trees. They aren't white. Apricot. Right. Would be white. Is it war with the Ottomans? Lapis is a unique new luxury resource. Cool. Let's go next turn. Great. Doesn't like us either. And they do have troops here now. So that's that's a worry. We want to be we want to be peaceful. But we will defend ourselves if necessary. Probably not gonna be any city states first, unfortunately. Shouldn't the Matterhorn be somewhere in here? Nice. There's their capital. No wonder they're at war. Awfully close to each other. Alright, so they are bringing a settler up here. That is problematic.
If they settle here, one, two, three, four, I bet they are. Shucks. We can still settle here next. Crashed, obviously, so um, we're probably gonna have to watch me replay a move or two. We're gonna watch them settle this again and hopefully not crash the game, please. They did settle it. Yeah. I mean, we might have to go to war with France. The question is, is this enough for us along with colonization, right? To, enough to win the game. Now we can't settle, let's see, one, two, three. That's too close. Unless we raise this city, right? Yikes, if I had known that, right, we would have put a city over here around the coastline. We're pretty much gonna have to go to a war and raise this city, I think. I think that kind of makes this inevitable. Yeah, I think war is inevitable here, but we have to wait till we, well, for one, can win the war. Wow, each time we meet a civ, we get a trade route. We really need to be getting our trade routes online. No man ever wetted. I mean, we still need seven turns just to be able to get them. And then we will probably build them as soon as we can. Let's immediately go settle this city. It's minus, what, four? That's not bad. Very manageable. Now with that, we could build a galley and buy one in a few turns. However, see that or we get a couple, get another city out here. We could go for troops. We are gonna want protection. I think we grab the monument here in the city and we go ahead and queue up the granary in Braga. And do we want astrology so we can go towards celestial navigation? Do we want archery so that we can grab well, archers? And then riding would be good. Mining is also quite good. We need all of these things researched. I think we go archery for defense and war. All right, so there's just barbarians up there. Uh, let's go scout this way. Let's try and get south into Asia. We've been kicked out of their borders. That is fine. We have to start negotiating for open borders, which is annoying. Which we haven't unlocked yet. Next turn. I think we're two turns away from buying our, our fancy galley. Oh, they have vampires. Yeah, France. Being a little aggressive here. We might want, yeah, getting archers is going to be key. We might want to go almost to masonry next. They're being a little aggressive. We can get through Preslav, so let's try and do that. There's also like another sieve or sieve up there. Actually, that's probably just Georgia. Over there, next turn. Even if we did go to war with them, we at least could use this to conquer this city, which would be nice. Granted, we wouldn't ever be able to hold it right next to their capital, so. Major flood. We settle here. Now it's going to flip directly towards them. That's right. Monument. Make sure we're working the two twos. Theoretically, even buy this. Now, in two turns, we can change our cards and go towards getting a governor. There's a city state. Interesting, there is. Nice. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is brutal, this uh, loyalty pressure they're putting on. We need to kind of grow Lisbon maybe faster. Oh, three, I guess, is the most we can focus on, so. This would also help. How much does it cost to buy that tile? 55. 11 turns isn't the worst thing, or it's not too terrible. A monument will help, and then getting trade routes should also help. Was that bamboo? Nice. Father Jihanul. We probably almost want a cultural alliance here with France. Not that they would, I mean, theoretically they should never want that, but. Now, uh, double recon. 100% production towards ancient and classical era naval units would be pretty solid. This would be great if we had trade routes. I am tempted to take that and produce another galley. Ignores movement penalties in woods and rainforests when located on a bush. Consumes the resource and generates 60 science and 50 culture. Ooh. It's actually not a bad idea. We could go put it there. Right, claim it up. Could start getting trade routes. We could also start getting a granary to improve our growth in the capital. Granted, we could also pump out our last settler here, which would be good. It would be good. Then we go, we start getting our trade routes. And we also go towards early empire. We go ahead and heat. No, let's just cross. Let's cross. And then where's our other scout right here? Yeah. Next turn. This will grow in population before it would flip, theoretically, which is good. Oh, snap. Never mind. They grew and pop first. This will grow, though. It would be brutal if that flips to them. I forgot that it was going to flip directly. I'd rather be a free city. Let's go down the coast of Africa first. Now with gold, we could buy this, let us build that sooner. Debatable if that will actually help though. Five turns. Yikes, we might lose that city. If that happens, we pretty much have to convert to go to a very. Uh, what are these free cities? To a very aggressive play to take the city back and probably push into France and eliminate Leon. I heard of that. Sorghum? Okay, so we definitely want to retreat here, and then we're going to need to promote going in four turns. Great. Now that means there's there might not be any civilizations in Africa. There are like 15 in the game. That kind of surprises me. That said, it does mean we can theoretically claim all of the coast of Africa, which makes sense as Portugal. One turn we get this trade route. We also grow this city. Now that does delay this a bit. I'd love to get a scout over here. We have to bring one of these guys all the way down towards Egypt. 
Yeah, Europe is crayon, but it looks like Africa might be very available. Six turns. Now we can trade with Lisbon. Which will grow it much faster. Still going to grow just as fast with, with a 2-3, but it will build a monument faster. Now this will be a lifesaver, plus two loyalty. Which we're following up by six. And we'll get the governor. So we can just make it last seven turns, give it a couple turns extra. We are okay. Granted, we would need to grow this city. Maybe we do want this, you know, if it, yeah, maybe actually, let's swap this back to be able to build the granary a little faster. 10 turns till growth is just yikes. Now, if we got a builder, maybe we could chop out some food. Eh, not in here. Maybe we could here. Well, there goes our scout. At least we still got this scout. Lots of tribal villages here. It's like you're losing loyalty. I know. Three turns. It's gotten so low that it won't grow. We are in trouble. We're probably going to lose this city. I did not, for some reason, I just didn't expect them to settle this. This is what really wrecked it. I shot an arrow wrecked our plans. This won't become a tribal, it won't become a free city. So if we. It's almost worth focusing on some type of military. Now it is a coastal city. So if we actually pumped out a couple galleys, we could take it probably pretty easily as well, as long as they aren't getting walls. Granted, we have to win the fight. We also just completed that, so we could theoretically upgrade this guy to an archer, which will help. Let's go for writing. Doesn't help us in a war effort. We might even want harbors first. Mining would be solid as well. Ooh. Now King Arthur would help us in a war effort. He's only going to last like 30 turns. If we made him, we would need to like create a bunch of scouts or something that we could turn into the special cavalry to take this city. I want to make him fast, but I also don't want to lose um, him, right? At this point, I'm pretty sure I'm, we've just lost the city. I'm just focusing on how do we get him back. Tel Aviv. One turn. So yeah, we definitely want to probably pull back to right here on this road is pretty safe. No, we want to try to trade with Braga. I think international trade route to Vatican City would be great as well. Giving us gold, let's do that for now. We'll get a, a galley, maybe two. And we'll, yeah, 
That'll be good. Then we can take that city back. You also might want to put this city down. I don't want to take, yeah, too many, too many. Continue to explore. Zombies, looks like they're hurting Russia a bit. Hopefully they don't hit our scout right here. Ham, oh snap, they are definitely coming after our scout. A empty tribal village, not tribal village, barbarian encampment. Now we get our trade route back, but now we're losing loyalty here. This has been a bit disastrous. Now, why are there... That's weird. Okay, we'll go next turn. First to me, Antonavario. Okay, so they must have been across the continent. Yeah, so there's definitely nobody in Africa. Definitely nobody. Now, we are building... This is going to be an important turn. Let's bring the ship to explore. We want to build a couple ships to be able to take this city quickly and potentially even raise this or something to cause mayhem. So I'm tempted... I definitely want to go towards craftsmanship, but we. I'm tempted... This will help us hold the city once we take it. This helps us take it faster. Ancient and classical naval units, we'll take that. And then this will give us more production. This would give us more gold for trade routes. That's better. We do want to get a settler soon, but for now, that's the best thing we can do. And then we're going to grab, we're going to grab Magnus, throw him into Braga. Once we take the city, we'll be able to throw him there. Let's go to Lisbon. We're going to, oh, yikes. There's no one here, so luckily we can get right in there and probably get rid of it. Potato, that's funny. All right, so we get this promotion, which is just great. We're going to take this. We're going to move our ship up north. We're going to actually make another galley. I would love a quad dream instead, but we're going to make another galley. Then we're going to queue up. I'd like to queue up King Arthur, but to do that, we need scouts for it to really be effective because then we can use our scouts, turn them into cavalry, right, into these fancy knights, which if we do that, we could theoretically... Um take this city and come in here and raise this and maybe be able to take all these cities we definitely would want to raise it though i think because i mean yeah we do. i mean this would be a really interesting city to have i guess if we can conquer a bunch right we'll have to see as we go but once we complete this we definitely want to start pumping out a couple scouts he's probably going to only have how many charges does he have four charges so we need four scouts Let's grab that, King Arthur, and then two scouts. So we'll do two, two. And I wish I had a scout down here. We're going to destroy it for XP. Looks like there might not be anyone over... Never mind, there's, there is India. All right. Let's definitely exchange info, and then we'll go up here to the north. Actually, let's just get straight to Africa. Let's just We know there's no one over there. All right, so they are bringing troops up, which is unfortunate, but expected. The 134 gold. Yeah, nothing we can really do with it yet. When you find yourself in a hole, there's mining, which is going to help us, though we don't actually need to really use anything yet. We again, don't have builders. I, I think we want to go grab either riding. I mean, heavy chariots would be nice, but with King Arthur, we don't even need them. 
So I think we actually go towards making harbors. I think we want to make those before we make our our uh, our campuses. Though campuses would be really really nice. Barbarian units. Now, what's their? They're at 304. Are they at war with anybody? No, they're friendly towards everyone. That's odd. Can we make a deal? I'm not going to do that. If we set a joint war against Eleanor. Okay, so they'll accept it. So we just need to be ready, which we will be in about three or four turns. Are they built a galley? Interesting. So they definitely have some troops here. Our knight should be able to, to handle them, though three turns to the next age. Now, we aren't going to get a Golden Age, most likely, which is actually fine because the early Golden Age isn't that good. Let's bring serve, see if they have troops super close. Uh, we could hire a warrior. That's actually a good idea. Is there any? A barbarian horseman. Okay. This would be the, great, the best way to quickly... Like a good unit is if we could find... Here discovered, okay. Nico's pretty cool. Are there any other barbarian encampments? Let's take a look at this. Barbarian outpost. Two, it's just those two, okay. So what would we rather have? A horseman. Or a warrior. They would just teleport, you know, up to southern Europe, I guess. A horseman would be pretty solid. Another warrior is not bad. Now, we're going to get cavalry units here with our King Arthur and the scouts. Let's go another turn without doing anything, without buying any units. So we could discover more barbarians, too. I'd love to get, like, an immortal, right? Grab state, state workforce. All right, so there is another ship up here. So we actually might have a little bit of a sea battle out of going on up here. We probably don't want to actually declare war until we have a few of the knights made. Because of that, we're going to continue to scout, see if we can find some of those barbarians. There's some arrow score. We're still what, three away, one turn to go. Signet oh, wow. Is a tool. Whoa. There's our golden age. <laughs> Sooner than I thought. All right, so here's King Arthur. We have him for 30 turns. He's got four charges. Finally making it towards where we need to be. And there's of course zombies. Okay, luckily they're fighting with their scouts. Zombies don't attack us, please. Ruby, that's cool. All right, a moderate flood, that's right on our capital city, that's annoying. Now this heroic gate, our golden age is gonna be really nice for maintaining loyalty as well. Although they are in one as well. Now, you need builders and settlers with faith. Eh, I'm not going to help us that much, though builders would be nice. This would be good if we can get a harbor down. So we're going to take that. It's not, not guaranteed that it'll be great, but it could be. The nice thing about... Oh, they have archers. Lots of archers. We might be able to hit this guy simultaneously. Nice. Okay, lots of free envoys, which is great. Lots of zombies here in Africa.
We might have to actually get more ships too. To make sure we win this war. They're gonna need a lot of gold thanks to Zanzibar and stuff. We've also met Mulan. We're getting over towards, this is like the, yeah, over here is where we gotta be to get into actually get into Africa, I think. However, all these are really, really good things we're getting. We also have the gold. We could, let's just buy a scout. We have that card in right now, which boosts production right towards ships. So let's get finish this scout. Let's purchase the scout. Oh, purchasing trade routes. Let's purchase a scout. Now they're only gonna last 12 turns, so I kinda wanna do them all as soon as possible, like right before the war, right? We're gonna finish that in four turns, so we're gonna wait a turn or two before we start doing them. Can't do them on the same turn, that's right, okay. We're gonna wait a turn. Indonesia, that's a great sieve in this mode. It'd be a fun one to play this mode with them. Like to the, the Dead Sea. Still no promotion from that scout. Dead Sea, that means actually Israel's here. It's so actually where I'm thinking of with Sudan. It'd be like over here. I don't believe in astrology. Oh, we got gold? Nice. Now, I got all of the, almost all the religions are taken. Now, if we do the war now, we got 11 turns here. If we wait one more turn, we can attack with all three knights at once, including King Arthur, and then be able to make our last scout soon. Let's, let's wait one more turn. On the way there, let's grab a celestial navigation. Whew, that's brutal. Let's grab riding first. I bet that part pledge has been broken. Just you wait. Another tribal village. <gasps> Who is this? Georgia. Hold on. How cool would it be just to put a city over here? Now this is a bit risky, but we don't see any units. Did they have Yerevan? Tamar, okay, that's a little risky. Because we'll take a shot here. But man, we take a shot, but they can't take the settler. We at least could run with the settler down here, right? Maybe we get trapped here, but we at least can run with the settler and just form a new city right there <laughs> if we wanted to. Yeah, this is just worth the risk. Uh, in fact, we could actually take this and, and then run away. Uh, if we run away, though, they'll take the, the, the settler right back, or at least Yerevan will take him. Right? Probably. I wish you could move them, even if it's just one tile. I think, I think our scout dies here. But we can run with the, uh, the settler, which will just make us more scouts. All right. So now let's use our charge here. Let's talk to these guys. Make the join, no. Can we make a new war? Okay, there we go. 
You really can't make a new war. You can just join the ongoing. So let's go to France and declare surprise war. Now let's get this guy to join in. Okay, not willing anymore. That's annoying. Let's soften this archer up with some arrows. Let's come in here with the knight. Get that elimination. Now this city's under siege. This scout next turn, which we'll send up here to make into another unit. So we can attack the city directly. We can also attack the ships. Why is that such a big defeat? 42 to 30. Minus or plus four combat strength bonus due to difficulty plus eight uh, to support. Ugh. They must have military tradition. That's brutal. We gotta eliminate one though. Yeah, we know, we're at war. Okay, everyone hates us. Just you wait till we colonize the whole world. That's Portugal. All right, so let's get this guy up there. At five pop, we need any, probably just need more galleys, right? We'll continue to make those things. Let's bring this guy forward. Boom, city's ours. Falls and cemeteries, we're gonna keep the city. Now we can also send Magnus there. Boom, that's positive. We have our city back. We don't want a holy site. We could take another governor, or a uh, hey, ugh, hero. A trader would be real nice. Builder would be great, let's get a builder. Now we need to push in with all these knights to either raise this, probably raise this city and then take as much as we can and then make peace as soon as they disappear or are about to disappear. Let's repair the, uh, yeah, I was looking at the wrong city. A builder here or a trade route. I think a builder actually makes sense. We don't have irrigation though. We'll get riding in a few turns. Yeah, a builder's good. If anything, we can send them back to the, to the capital. Now if we take this fight, we lose. Come here, we can almost make it into the city. Hey, there's Mallory. Nice, that'd be a really powerful civ in this game mode. Oh, they came forward, but they didn't attack. That's weird. I want to scout out and see what's here. Is it worth settling here? Which it looks pretty solid, actually. Or is it better to send this seller west into Africa? We need one more turn here. So far, I'm enjoying Portugal, though. That's fine. Let's now bring... Hey, we've got to heal this galley before they die. So we're going to do that. Heal. Use our knights to eliminate all these units. And our archer to hit the ship. Get this for the XP. Elimination. Elimination. 
elimination. No longer under siege. Their military is mostly decimated. Now we have a lot of loyalty issues. Eventually the city would flip, is why I'm debating sending them further. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a dead end, right? I'm pretty sure this is... Uh, that's Sudan area, right? So let's... We could get into almost where Africa is, which would be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go this way. A lot of loyalty problems here because of Istanbul. So we're going to bring this... We're going to eventually put them together and heal up the scalp, and then we're going to bring them down to here. To be a lot better, I think. It's actually a pretty decent area. But it wouldn't be good for the first city. All right, I think this is a good spot. Um where we're at here. Hopefully you don't see any crashes as we continue to play this heavily modded game. Now if we take this, we kind of have to get... Tell me how, how, much, how many turns we still got? Ten turns, right? On most of these guys? Eight. Eleven. So we gotta really make take a good make good use of these knights. Push in here. And then theoretically make peace. We'd like to at least raise this city. Minimum. If we can. But luckily we got our city back. After we get this galley, we'll probably, before I forget queue up the last settler which when we do we we'll want to switch that card out so we can produce that settler faster but thanks for watching everybody this has been a really fun episode really excited for the next ones and this whole series uh, again this is a huge obviously true start location map and luckily we didn't have spain in the game because that would have been crazy but thanks for watching everybody it's been a fun fun episode and i'll see you in the next one